Hello everyone, it's Foxo, and as you can probably know, I'm a big Disney fan. But as much as I'm a Disney fan, I'm also a really big Pixar fan. Now technically Disney does on Pixar, so it is the same thing. But as but as you but for those of you who have been watching my channel for a long time, I have been doing more, more Pixar videos recently. So today I'm going to talk about the Pixar theory. Eerie. Yes, the idea that all the Pixar movies exist in the exact same universe. Let's get started on the timeline. Now, despite what people say about the good dinosaurs starting it, starting it with the announcement of Pixar's new film Elemental, until about elements, I think it's safe to say that this is the movie that started the Pixar universe because you have to have you have to have elements before you can have the dinosaurs. So yeah. Then we have the good dinosaur, where the asteroid that should have wiped out the dinosaurs misses Earth, preserving the dinosaurs, and they develop, like, human, human-esque skills like farming. Next, we have the 10th century Scotland for Brave. Okay, I, but, <laughs> I meant to do a Scottish accent there, I don't know. But, like, um, we learn that magic can make, can make inanimate objects come to life, ice, and that they're like portals between between doors. So we'll revisit later in Monsters Inc. Next, for next for the 1940s and 50s, it, 50s for the Incredibles, and Incredibles 2, in which human emotion is harnessed to create the supers, oopers, according to D John Negroni, the author of the book The Pixar Theory. Next is Lightyear, Pixar's most recent film, which is actually the movie Andy saw that made him want to get a Buzz Lightyear toy, so it, so it doesn't exist in any exact spot in the timeline online that I can say, other than that it was probably released in 1995. The same year Toy Story took place. Now, Toy Story and Toy Story 2 exist, exist in the timeline I'm lying about, at about the exact years they were released, except Toy Story 2 does not take place in, toy, in 1999. In fact, it does in fact, it take place one year after Toy Story takes place in 1996. Next, in like 2007, we have Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, in which animals begin to develop human emotions, something that we saw in The Good Dinosaur. Oh yeah, and also in 2007, Ratatouille, where we also shows animals developing human emotions and skills. Next, we have, next also in 2007, we have Toy Story 3, 3, which follows the same basic rules of the Toy Story universe, that toys come to life based on the existing memories of humans. Toy Story 4, 4 also takes place in that same year, year, as well as some of the Toy Story tunes. Next is Up, which takes place in about the same year. Also, by and large, the company from Wally -E probably creates the dog collars that, that allow Doug and his pack to talk. Next, in 2015, we have Inside Out. Out about emotions, and, and then also Bing Bong could be based on a comedic closet monster, monster, monster mainly George Sanderson, in that Riley encounters a child. Next we have Soul, Soul, in which a young man's version of the uh, version of the dead is seen. But in Coco, we learn that if you're Mexican, your idea of the dead is different. FYI, everything in the Pixar universe is based on memories. There's Toy Story, in which toys thrive off human emotion and memories. Coco, which is basically all about memories. Inside Out, which is literally about emotions and memories in your head. head. And then Dory shows us kind of how tragic forgetting can be and stuff like that. But anyway, fast forward... Or from Coco, a ton of years later, when humans have to leave Earth, beginning in the prologue of Wally, -E. and then cars come to life as seen in Cars, Cars Two and Cars Three, and they thrive off human emotion and fuel, fuel, but they die with I with the lack of human emotion. And then they also, oh, take on the personalities that their original owners have. Also, Super Holland Brothers did a theory that the actor who played Buzz, as in Lightyear, no, not Chris Evans, but like in the Toy Story universe, is the personality of Lightning McQueen. Yeah. Next, we have Wally, after the cars kind of get wiped out. 
And then when humans return, they evolve into monsters from Monsters University and Monsters, Inc., in which they literally harvest human emotions. Again, with the emotion stuff, people. And then also there's this theory that Boo is actually the witch from Brave, and I totally agree with this. Yes. And because, like, she grew up and learned about, like, the power between doors and stuff like that. That, and she wants to find Sully to keep him from experiencing the second death as seen in Coco. And that should wrap up the Pixar theory. That should wrap up the Pixar theory. Um, um, it's a pretty interesting theory. Oh yeah, and I forgot Turning Red takes place in 2002. It went, where there's a theory that Abby is actually the daughter of Boo. So, yeah.